The best way to start a conversation about the gospel with someone who has yet uh, to believe the gospel is to begin in their narrative. Uh, Paul was a master at this. Uh, he began in the common narrative of the people to whom he was speaking, and he built a bridge back to the gospel. Uh, one way that I train uh, people and, and have really trained myself as well uh, is starting with an understanding of their own circumstance. So here's what I mean by that. Think about how hard your life is in different ways, at different times, uh, for different reasons, and you have a living hope. That's what Colossians says, that you've been granted a living hope, that you know who Christ is, and yet we still struggle to wade through the muck and the mire uh, uh, of this fractured reality in which we exist. So can you imagine uh, what it's like for someone who has no hope beyond what they can see and no power beyond what they think they can control? Uh, and so you start right there. You start in their narrative. Everyone in this world, to one degree or another, is suffering in some way. Uh, even the wealthy are suffering. They're suffering from loneliness or they're suffering from workaholism to maintain their wealth, or they're suffering from dissatisfaction because they've been trying to fill their lives with all of these things that has still not scratched an itch that they cannot locate. You have that answer uh, in the living hope that is Christ Jesus. And so the best way to start that conversation is not with kitschy phrases. You know, uh, I'll tell you what I was turned off by when I wasn't a Christian. I was an athlete and I was talking football with a guy one day and he said, yeah, and just like a skilled quarterback, Jesus ran the touchdown for you so you wouldn't have to. I didn't ever want to talk to that person again because it was such a random uh, alteration of the course of even our natural conversation. Uh, and so uh, I think the better way is to have real conversations with people and where a, a pop psychologist or Oprah uh, or, or some other human being would answer their need uh, with some humanistic revelation, you speak Christ into those moments uh, and it becomes your language, it becomes your breathing. Uh, one of the greatest uh, criticisms I've ever received was from a very close friend of mine um, who said, man, every time we talk and I tell you what's going on in my life, you start talking about Jesus. I said, exactly. Uh, because it's a natural course uh, of my life. And so, of course, then, for you to be able to do that, Jesus, in, in thinking and dwelling on and, and communing with him, has to be a, a regular part of your life so that it becomes a regular part of your responses uh, to people in everyday life and in ordinary circumstances.